this licence to play the pokies the feds are talking about? That's a bit of a worry. You might have seen the gaming industry's ads campaigning against the government's proposed pokies reform. They make some pretty big calls. This licence to punt will send pubs and clubs broke. It is quite simply un-Australian. The damaging impact would reverberate across the whole economy. Un-Australian. It'll ruin us. Is anyone else getting a sense of deja vu? <sighs> no way. 1984. The Petroleum Resource Rent Tax is proposed. Any introduction of additional taxation runs a substantial risk of shattering industry confidence and drastically delaying exploration activity. The tax went ahead and the industry continued to grow. In 2009, three of the world's biggest petroleum companies signed off on Australia's biggest resources deal yet. 1986, the fringe benefits tax ends the tax-exempt business lunch. Restaurateurs hit the streets. If we don't get a positive response before the end of this year, half of us will be out of business. Yeah. 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 There was a brief downturn in trade, but the food industry more than recovered. This year, cafe and restaurant revenue will approach $10 billion. 1984, land rights. Land rights is a symbolic step backwards to the world of paganism, superstition, fear and darkness. There will be no Australian mining industry. After land rights went through, spending on mining exploration continued to increase across the country. Indeed, mining became so profitable that in 2010, the federal government proposed a super profits tax on the industry, leading to this. Weaken mining, you weaken the country. But that's exactly what the government's new super tax is doing. This pressure paid off. A watered down version of the tax went ahead and the big three mining giants continue to post massive profits. BHP's half-year figure of $10.5 billion announced in February was the biggest in Australian corporate history. So, when the gaming industry says putting limits on pokey bets will damage the economy, well, not mounting a scare campaign would just be un-Australian.